welcome back. Today is going to be a, another foundation review here on my channel, which is gonna be on the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation, which is fairly new. Um, I haven't heard too many things about it, so I just pretty much felt I'd give it a try. Then I've heard so many great things about the Shape Tape Concealer, so I just figured I'd combine them both in one, just in case if you've never really tried them, if you've been curious about them. And you guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel and make sure you tune into the little notification bell so that you do not miss not a video that I post like this video. If you do enjoy my videos and if you wanna see more, it just allows me to know whether you like them or if you wanna see something different or comment below and let me know what you wanna see. But let's go ahead and get into the foundation review. So I actually just recently bought this foundation. Ulta had 21 Days of Beauty, and they had it if you bought the foundation for $39, you got the concealer for $15, which the concealer is originally $29, 28 to $29. So I just figured, why not? Just give it a try. A little bit about this foundation. Let's go to the notes. This foundation says it is a hypoallergenic, which just means if your skin is extremely sensitive, you are less likely to catch an allergy from this or to have allergic reaction from this foundation. So this foundation is hypoallergenic, luminous finish with a gel foundation featuring the same complexion perfecting superpowers as the Shape Tape Concealer. So I guess that kind of just explains a little bit about what the concealer does. And it also says that with an added boost of skin smoothing and oil-free hydration. Um, so being the fact that it's oil-free, oil I'm going to take into consideration that this foundation is still great for all skin types. Because yes, you can get a hydrating foundation. But sometimes when people are more oily prone, they do not want anything that is going to expose their pores anymore. So oily people, I love you. You can try this foundation. Dry people, normal to dry people, combination skin, this foundation, you can give a try. It also says it provides a buildable long wearing coverage and a skin smoothing weightless gel. The collagen and hyaluronic acid, ooh, I love hyaluronic acid. If you don't know hyaluronic acid, listen, it hydrates your skin to the fullest, okay? Um, it says the collagen hyaluronic acid packed formula continuously hydrates while helping plump the skin, refine pores without creasing, caking, or fading for 12 hours. So this long wearing foundation pretty much lasts for 12 hours and it's going to plump the skin which just pretty much just mean it's going to be nice, hydrated, and ready to receive product. So. I'm a little bit excited to try this little bad boy out. It um, It's dermatologist tested, and they say like they personally prefer you to apply this with a sponge. Yeah, I know I apply everything with a sponge. I love that. So I don't have a whole, whole bunch to like say. I just really, really want to try this foundation. I've actually been wanting to try it. I bought the foundation maybe like a week and a half, almost two weeks ago, and I've been wanting to get it or try it ever since, but I just kind of been waiting to film this. So let me go ahead and wrap my hair up and let's go ahead and get into reviewing this foundation. I just wanted to make sure all my hair was pinned back um, because I definitely know like, what? it was like a review I did and someone was like, please make sure your hair is pulled back in all your foundation reviews. Yes sis, my apologies. Let me expose all this face. So I am in the color Deep Honey. Um, I don't wear too many Tarte foundations, but I have tried the Rainforest of the Sea. One thing I did notice about this foundation, Deep Honey is a shade that I typically wear uh, when I do wear Tarte foundations, but compared to the Rainforest of the Sea foundation, versus the Tarte Shape Tape, the colors are way different. Like this is really, really golden. And then the Double Duty Beauty, oh shit, yeah. The Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape is way darker. So if you are familiar with the um, 
the formulas of Tarte and you wear a lot of their foundations, I highly suggest going into Sephora or Ulta and swatching out your shade if you're curious about this foundation because I'm glad I didn't buy this online just by going off of it. Like this color actually is really, really a lot warmer than what I initially wanted. It's going to be perfect in the summer and you guys know I don't mind foundations being a lot warmer. but. It's just not consistent in the other lines. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I thought I was tripping when I was in Ulta and I was like, why is it so dark? Like, I know I've worn this found this color foundation before and I know, um, but they do break down a guide on their website and they break down a guide of what color to get and unfortunately I didn't look at that guide when I got it because I didn't plan on getting the foundation at the moment or like when I went to go get it. Can you see the difference? This is the Rainforest of the Sea in Deep Honey. This is the Double Duty Beauty um, Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. They're both Deep Honey but they're way two completely different colors. So of course this one isn't too bad on me in the winter because I do pick up a lot of yellow tones, but this one is a lot red in the undertone. So if you just notice the very major difference of these two, like these shades are completely different. Okay, now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into swatching and seeing the coverage of this foundation. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like I'm low key geeked. I really wanted to try this. I love hydrating foundations. I really love lumin luminous looks and stuff, you know? So, I'm gonna give this a big shake. It has a doe foot applicator, which I guess the shape tape does too. It also reminds me of the applicator on the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. So I'm wondering if these are very similar in formulas to that. Cleanse my skin, washed it, hydrated, no primer. If you are new to my channel, typically I don't wear primers before I put a foundation on just so that I can see how it wears. And um, I just wanna see like how it feels. So you know, I wanna see the trueness of the foundation without any other products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one side. Take the foundation brush. And I'm I'm just gonna I'm not gonna like move it. I'm just kinda gonna pat it. I'm getting so annoyed. I'm just gonna blend this now. <laughs> it's taking too long. This is why I love a sponge. It just gets it on. So as for the shape tape, I got the color deep. Um I'm wondering if I should have went like one shade up because this isn't too far off my complexion or my concealer color that I typically like, but I'm pretty sure I can make it work. Let's go ahead and uh, get in there. Yeah, this isn't far off my shade at all. <laughs> you gotta get in the inner corners, dog, you know? Far has the doe foot applicator, of course. As mentioned, I like to put concealer all over the eye because it neutralizes the eye. I just love a sponge. I just love a sponge. Whoa. I mean. Not too bad. So far, not too bad. Let me go ahead and just like apply it all over my whole face though. BRB. So, the concealer totally balanced out my entire face. I haven't said it or done anything. I can say so far I'm really pleased. I'm about to do my entire face and then I feel like I can see how I love the entire foundation and everything from there. So I will be back once everything is all together and then I'll kind of have like my final thoughts on what I think of both of them. Okay guys, I've worn the foundation. I've had it on for a couple of hours now and I think I kind of have a little bit of a judgment on it. So let's 
go ahead and get into some final thoughts. I really wasn't expecting like a whole bunch from this foundation, but only thing I think I was expecting was it for it to be really hydrating and just, they're pretty good with their coverage, but just to overall have like a really nice natural glow. Um, as for the concealer, I think the concealer was really nice. Um, I need more time to see if it's like as hyped up as it has gotten. It takes me a few times with more than just one formula or one time with different formulas to like see whether I like a concealer or not. But I think I might try a shade below it just so I can have a little bit more of a highlight because it's very, very spot on to my skin complexion. It's only like a half a shade darker instead of like a whole shade. And the undertone is just a little bit different. So that is just what mostly kind of makes a difference with it. Um, but overall, like the concealer was really nice. It wasn't like disappointing. It did cover, as you can see, you know, my makeup is uh, looking nice and juicy here. You know what I mean? I mean, overall, the foundation, like, I will continue to use it. I am excited to continue to try it. I really love the gel-like formula. I love how it, it just naturally absorbed into the skin, but it still kind of left this natural radiance on my skin. Um, it's a little hard to explain, but I really did enjoy, like, it doing that alone. But I just was really happy at the overall look of the foundation, the feel. I was a little disappointed in the color. Like, that was, if anything, my biggest con is how different this shade is compared to this shade. And they're both the same shade for the same company. So if anything, like my biggest negative would be that and to stay careful of that if you are interested in getting this foundation. Um, I don't have like a whole lot to say about it because once again, like I said, I'm just giving this foundation a try out. I do love how it looks. I haven't photographed too much in it, but um, so far it looks really great on camera. And I can honestly say you guys, like I... I'm enjoying it. For the most part, I'm really pleased with the foundation and the concealer. It didn't let me down. It's really nice. It covers very well. It makes my skin look really hydrated, really pretty. So if you're somebody with dry skin and you're looking for a foundation that is going to like give you a nice natural glow, I would definitely go for this one. But please go in store and swatch this one. Do not get this foundation online and just kind of judge it because the shades obviously are off in colors and it must have to do something with the formula of the foundation um but just keep that in mind so besides that you guys i thank you so much for watching this i really don't have a whole bunch of final thoughts for you guys but that's literally just it i think i've kind of covered everything else thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell after subscribing so that you make sure you do not miss no notifications um, and you don't miss any posts from me. Um, and you guys, thank you again, once again, and I'll see you in my next video.